What's up guys? I'm here with a Procreate cartoon tutorial. Um, I usually start off with uh, just blocking out the rough layout of what I'm gonna be making. So I'm just drawing kind of like a gothic style house or something that you would see in a Halloween cartoon. And I knew I wanted to put a creepy tree in um, really, I'm just still drawing really loose here, just getting, like, the scene in my head. Uh, I love drawing trees, so I, I knew I wanted a creepy tree in here. I knew I wanted a face in the tree, and I wanted it to be kind of creepy, but, um, sometimes, I don't know, if you make, like, sad-looking trees, if that makes sense, like, sad-looking eyes, it kind of, uh... I don't know, it kind of looks even creepier, I feel like. Um, it almost feels like depressive and I don't know, like, it just goes off a weird vibe. I feel like the trees in The Wizard of Oz were kind of like that too, and it, probably because being a tree would suck. I mean, you're stuck in one place, it's like depressing. So, there's like this level of sorrow that the tree's in while being creepy and out to get you, so they just always, those trees always freaked me out when I was little watching that movie. Here I'm just going back, working on the house. Um, making things look like they might work out when I start painting it because really I'm just loosely drawing here and it's just to get like a rough idea of what I'm going to be drawing and um, really it comes down to just you know keep building upon stuff and keeps progressing you know because um, Initially, this house looked pretty bad, and I was ready to just completely start over. And, I mean, you could do that, but sometimes if you just... Like, I went over to the tree, and I started drawing the tree, and then I kind of got more inspiration and went back to the house and uh, started changing some things around on this, this house to look a little bit better. And all of a sudden, the picture as a whole starts coming together, sort of. So you start playing off the way the tree looks. Like, how would the graveyard look, you know? Because it's kind of hard to start and just have a picture in your head. Here I'm just riffing ideas of like monsters to draw because mainly I wanted to draw just a character initially when I first started this so I'm just drawing weird characters um, I have some stickers up on my window for Halloween and I'm just kind of getting some ideas from that but I didn't like that I wanted this more of like a an actual character So I was drawing the head of this character and I kind of liked the shape, sort of, but it it wasn't right. Like the top of his head didn't re really look right. I was kind of making like a Frankenstein looking thing. And I don't know, just wasn't really feeling it. Um, you know, that's why I, I wasn't really sure what I was gonna draw. So I started with the background. And it kind of helped because then I could kind of get an idea of what a character would look like in this picture. So it, it just keeps building you your ideas. So staring at a blank page is uh, probably the worst thing about drawing. Um, so if you could just start doodling, you know, things start coming along. It's actually why I like drawing digitally so much, because it's so much easier to get a concept out 
because if you just draw without care of having to erase and spend time, you could just hit the back button and undo strokes really quick. So you could just really get a good idea of what you want onto paper faster, I feel like. So if you're not into digital, digitally drawing, you should definitely try it. It's a little weird to get used to, but it feels pretty natural, like pretty quickly. Um, here, I'm just drawing his shirt. I wanted it to be kind of like punk-like. I'm thinking maybe this character's kind of like a skater or a trick-or-treater or something. So, figured to put like a skull on his shirt and figured to maybe put like just dead or something. Then I wanted to spell it like D-E-D. -E -D. <laughs> and then I figured maybe I'll actually make him dead. Like a dead trick-or-treater. Like maybe a demon, a child, teenager. Make him kind of like trick-or-treating or something. Gave him kind of punk looking stare and then kind of got a cool idea for hair and uh, an idea for horns. Even though he was Frankenstein, maybe he's like a demon child but dressed up as Frankenstein and going trick or treating. Like, I don't know. He kind of just looked cool though. So I just kept building off of this, drew a skateboard in there. Thought the skateboard looked really cool. And I know you're not supposed to put your main focal point in the center of a picture, but I mean, he's, it, this picture is of the character, so I kind of just building the whole scene around him. So I'm not really worried about that. Um, here I'm just blocking in color. Um, I set my sketch layer to transparent so I could see um, kind of where I'm painting. And I'm just painting in, you know, starting furthest back with light colors and getting darker as you get closer to where you would be standing and looking at this scene. I always keep my background on a separate layer, and that's going to be your first layer, always. And then, um, a lot of these hills, like the three hills here, um, are on separate layers as well. And it just makes it easier because then each layer, you know, you're using mainly one color and different shades of that color on that layer. Um, sometimes it's easy, easier to just blot down some color um, away from what you're painting, just almost like a um, like a palette or something, like a color palette just, that, just that's like right there. I know Procreate has color palettes and stuff, but um, I feel like it's just easier if that's what that big pink blob is on the background. It's just some color that I blob there because it was kind of the color that I want for like all the highlights in the whole picture. So when I needed to go back, I'd just use a color picker and grab that color. Um, then you could just erase it. All the sketching I'm doing uh, with the 6B pencil tool. Um, and then all the painting I'm doing with the Nico roll brush. And here and there I use different brushes, like for the background here. And using some splatter effects just to get some stars and texture into the background. And changing some layer settings. Um, 
I knew I wasn't done with the background, but I would just go back to it eventually. I kind of skip around when I'm painting and drawing because otherwise I'd probably get bored. Here you can see how I just blotted some color that I knew that his hair would be. It kind of just makes it easier to keep switching colors. You don't have to go all, all the way to the other side of your tablet and press a button, you could just tap that color and hold it and it switches your color. Now I kind of noticed I did the, all the lighting effects and I didn't even realize that Procreate has the, the light brush. So I was just using colors like yellow and making highlights on the background, like on those tombstones and stuff. Um, which you could see, it really makes it pop. I mean, really the tombstones are like two colors. So I just did like a dark color and then I highlighted like the side closest to the house with like a light purple. And then I went back and used some yellow on that edge. Um, understanding lighting helps really bring your pictures to, to life, I feel like. Um, and shadows and stuff like that. It helps with the depth and stuff, perspective. Here, I wasn't really happy with his colors and stuff, but I'm kind of just putting down colors and changing some layer um, properties to end up getting around the colors that I wanted, or the effects. Um, I use the airbrush tool to give, um, like, kind of like this creepy fog that's rolling up over the hill that he's standing in, and I just set that layer to transparent, and I could uh, adjust how thick it is. Um, generally, fog with the airbrush you don't want it too thick because it doesn't look right um so just like wisps of it i started to go back to the character and try to figure out the colors a little bit better and i set some layers to some transparent layers i forget like luminescence or stuff like that and it actually made the character kind of see-through sort of so um i kind of kept that here I'm going back over a lot of my highlights because I found the light pen, <laughs> which is uh, one of the tools. And if you haven't used that, you gotta use it. A friend of mine um, told me about it and man, it makes a huge difference. It just really puts out that light effect, which I could draw if I wanted to, but um, it's just, you know, kind of a process to make it look like in a lighting effect where it's just so much easier if there's just a pen that does it. I'll use the light brush and I'll be on the layer of like the tree or something with the roots and I just highlight the, the edge that's kind of coming from the light source just slightly um, and I'm kind of just really light on the pencil when I do that and kind of only do certain areas really and it kind of gives like a textured effect like on the roots um, and then I'll usually be doing all this lighting effects on a separate layer I forgot to mention that because then I could just go back with an eraser tool and I usually use like a soft airbrush type eraser and I could just kind of feather in these highlights with the eraser. And so sometimes I'll highlight some grass or something near the tree or something, and it's a little bit too bright for how far away this tree is. So I could kind of feather it in with the airbrush. It's a little bit more controllable than using the light pen and adjusting how powerful the opacity of the pen is. Um, you can kind of just feather it in with the eraser tool. 
so yeah guys this was a quick tutorial um you know it's just assuming that you guys know the basics and um kind of shows how i conceptualize a picture hopefully that can help you out a little bit um this is the final photo and i think it came out pretty cool i think this character looks kind of like what i imagined um Make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.